Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's John Mullins here on Tuesday. What is today? November 29th. Um, I'm here on Regent University campus, and one, I love this place. Um, I always, I always tell people that I've, uh, that Regent University has been a place where I have grown as a as a Christian. I've grown as a man. I've grown as a, as a student. But um, I, I came here today, and I, I, I just wanted to share something about creating momentum. So two weeks ago, I went to this leadership prayer breakfast, uh, where a bunch of different leaders and organizations came together within this uh, Hampton Roads community, and we came together. Um, hey, Nick, what's going on? Um, but it was an organization that came together uh, and just to... to, to uh, speak about living out your faith but uh, I went to this event not knowing really what to expect not knowing who I was going to meet um, I found out about it last minute and of course it was uh, uncomfortable but I did it anyway because I was trying to be intentional I'm trying to get get uh, reconnected back to this community meet people connect with people and it was great well that one that one step that one thing that I was unsure about has led to so many new things about uh, where the direction I'm going in. So today, like I said, I'm here on campus. I met with the Dean of School of Business and Academic Affairs. And while at, the, at that event, I met her and I met uh, another person who oversees a lot of the speaking engagements. They oversee a lot of the community events. And that's everything that I'm trying to get connected into. So if I would have never have, have made that commitment, made that step, I would never have had this, this meeting today. So you never know what small step can lead to. So I really just want to kind of share with you about how important it is to start creating momentum in your life. And the way you do that is by taking the small steps, meet people, connect with people. And the minute you do, you're just going to start connecting with people. You share your ideas, share your visions, and share your dreams, and people get excited about that naturally. And so today I had this meeting with my with the dean, one of my old academic advisors, and suddenly this has turned into another meeting, to another meeting, and she's going to connect me on and on and on. And but again, it it started back by taking that first additional step. So I'm really excited because, uh, like I've shared with a few of you, I'm in this season of being very intentional. Uh, about who I'm spending my time with, but also what I'm in, what I'm in, in, in investing in my personal growth. But also, uh, I'm trying to be very intentional about um, what I'm doing because I'm in this this season of personal growth. I've been telling people I've been experiencing this personal growth, spiritual growth spurt, and it's really exciting. It's really fun. Uh, but at the same time, I don't want to get it so big where I lose my focus. And so. Um, you know, if this is encouragement to you, I hope it is, but just reach out, do something different, but create that momentum. And once you do, the ball starts, you know, it, it just gets going and rolling, but keep it going. Start meeting new people. But uh, anyway, hope you're doing well. Uh, I see a few people are on. Um, Tim Lowe. Wow. There's a name I haven't seen in a while. Hope you're doing great, buddy. How's life? Nick Holmes. Who would I be without Nick Holmes? You're doing good. Caitlin Broyles. You're doing great things. Love to see you on here. <laughs> yeah, Nick. Yep, you know it. But anyway, I'm uh, I'm signing off. But uh, unless anyone has any questions, you know, feel free to hit me up. I am working on a project that I'm going to be announcing soon. It it kind of ties into everything that I've been learning about being intentional from last year. Uh, I I'm looking for individuals who kind of want to take that next step and invest in that, but also learn how to be intentional, but also hold themselves accountable because there's something to that. There really is, and I feel like huge breakthroughs have like just come down a lot of it has stemmed from you know myself like where I'm going but also these these mental breakdowns of like these walls have just cleared in my own head what I've learned is like I've been getting in my own way and how many of you have ever realized like you're trying to chase after a dream trying to go somewhere but it's you that's in your own way and a lot of times it really is but you just don't know what or how to fix that 
And so those are the, some of the topics that I am focusing on is, you know, where your vision is, what you're trying to improve in, uh, and then what is your BS story? What's your bogus story? How are you getting in, in your own way? So anyway, thanks, Tim. You have a great day, too. Uh, Gloria Burgess, who would I be without you? You're, you're doing amazing things. Thanks. Have a great day. Uh, but anyway, I'm just going to sign off, and everyone have a great day. Thanks. God bless.